Welcome back to our channel. She said, he said, I'm Rasha and I'm Jay. Thanks for joining us. Jay, tell them what the channel's about. Channel is about relationships and we pretty much just cover different topics dealing with relationships and give our opinions and point of views from a woman and a man's perspective. Exactly. So if this is your first time joining, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. So you summed it up quite well. Hopefully you all uh, will tune in and we're just going to go ahead and get right into our topic today. So Jay, what's the topic? Uh, topic for today is jealousy. Ooh. Jealousy in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Is it is it healthy? Is it? Is it healthy for a relationship? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yes. So what do you think? Is it healthy? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I've, I've been on both ends of the spectrum, I guess, before. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I, my take on it is I think that, you know, it's cool in a way, mm -hmm. but maybe if, if it's too much, then it's like, oh, it's kind of overbearing and it's like, okay, then it kind of it becomes like a real security, insecurity type issue. Mm -hmm. So know? when you say that you've been on both sides of the spectrum, meaning what? Um, I'm just saying as far as like having someone jealous of me mm -hmm. and me being jealous of someone. Okay, and so when you were jealous of someone, was it, did you feel like you were being overbearing about it, or did you think it was cute? Mm, probably in the past. What's up with this cute? Huh? <laughs> cute. Huh? <laughs> I'm saying probably in the, in the past, um, I'm saying like a long time ago, yeah, you know, from what I can remember, mm -hmm. you know, like when I was younger, I probably was more of an overbearing type thing, you mm -hmm. know? Because you don't really know how to, when you're younger, more immature, you don't really know how to, I more guess. Immature. That's what I said, right? Yeah, I was about to say more mature. I don't know what I said. <laughs> when you're more I immature, uh -huh. you know. So yeah. when I was younger and immature, mm -hmm. I didn't really know how to process it. So it was a. Well, what were you trying to process? Like, what's, what's behind I don't know, the you jealousy? just. I'm just saying, like, I can remember, like, being in high school or something, and then maybe you might see somebody talking to your girlfriend, and you don't have enough sense to think, like, oh, well, she can talk to other people. doesn't mean that she's talking to them, you know what I'm saying, trying mm -hmm. to get with them, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you instantly become jealous of who, hey, who you talking to? Mm -hmm. Who's that dude? You so, know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you were over there. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, for me, I feel like... To me, very minimal is okay. Meaning, like, I guess for some people, you know, you want to have that feeling of this person cares. And, you know, for some people, that's the way that they feel like, okay. Yeah, that's, that's least, the point that I was going to try least, to get to. Yeah, You know, cares about me. Um, you know, when it's just like, you know, you know how you might slyly throw in a question. Someone's, you know, who are you talking to? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know. And you're, you, you hear the person and maybe someone of opposite sex, so you already know they're talking to someone of the opposite sex. So it, it's, it's kind of an obvious question, but you're really like trying to get to the bottom of, okay, well, who is this and who is it to you type of thing. Right, and that's what I meant by like cute, basically. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you see that your partner is, you know, like a little jealous and you're like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but not overbearing. It's just like, well, so you know that they're, you know, that jealousy of like, no, this is this is my man. This is my woman. Like you know, what I'm saying you mine. Like you know, who are you talking to? You know, and you know they really care about you. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, for me, I would say that. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm a jealous type at all. Like, like I'm probably the opposite. Like I'm just like, okay, you know, you you're having a conversation with a female. I mean. As long as I can clearly see there's no disrespect in play on your part or the other female's part, I don't really, I'm not one of those that have a problem. Like, you know, um, and then even if like, you know how people like, be like, oh, well, she was touched. Like, if, you know, somebody, a female does like that, I'm still not bothered. Like, I'm just like, okay, I mean, as long as 
he makes sure that she, you know she knows that he's married and it's not going beyond this simple whatever. I'm cool, you know. Mm. So it's I don't and I don't think I actually was like really a jealous person when I was younger. I'm not saying I've never had moments, but overall, like I, I'm not. I you know I tend to sometimes think that when people are when there's a lot of jealousy or even some jealousy to a lot of jealousy, I, I tend to think sometimes people are insecure in their relationship. Mm. And to me, that means that you need to have a conversation with your with yourself, one, to make sure it's not just you, mm-hmm. you know, and then have a conversation with your partner because maybe there's something that, you know, you need from your partner that you're not getting as to why you're feeling, you know, these feelings of jealousy, which in tow can be actually insecurity within the relationship. I mean, that's probably, I mean, I agree. That's probably what it is. You're missing something mm-hmm. that you're not getting from your partner is the reason why you feel uh, jealousy basically Mm -hmm. because you feel some type of insecurity like I'm not receiving this from my partner but I see that they're doing this over here with this person or whatever you Mm -hmm. know what I mean Mm -hmm. so yeah exactly so that's why I I say for me I don't really think I've like been jealous to that point and I don't really feel jealousy um because at one, I'm like, I'm secure with who I am. And I'm like, it's not saying that you're, you can't get something different from mm-hmm. someplace else, but you're not going to get me. So, so, you know, it's just like, if that's where you choose to go, I've always been the believer of, okay, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to go, then so be it. I mean, I don't know, like, if you remember, you know, when we were within the first year of us being married, I was just like, you know, in general, we just having talks. And I was like, hey, you know. I'm not going to be one of those people that chase you down. I'm not going through, you know, phone numbers and this and that. You know, I'm not doing all that. Um, because, one, you got to answer for what you do, you know. And I, I, I'm not going to know everything that you do. Mm-hmm. Just like, right, so, so you wouldn't know everything that I do. So to for us to be sitting here, what, what you doing? What's, who's, who's that? What's, like, that's crazy, you know. So that's what I'm saying. When, if it gets to be the extreme, mm-hmm. then I feel like that's when people need to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah. You know, because you should be with someone that you trust, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but I do get it when people say, oh, that's cute. You know, he's a little jealous. Or she's a little jealous. Oh, that's cute. You know, I, mm-hmm. I do get that. You know, um, yeah. it may not be my thing, but I do get it. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I had on it. You know, just had my little point. That was you your know. point. That was it. That was my little point. That was a little, my little share on it. Oh, my gosh. I went through a whole conversation with myself. Yeah. And it- <laughs> You did. <laughs> you wrapped it up for us. Oh my gosh. I need a little more input from you. What you need? What you I'm saying you like, well, I think of when I was younger and you know what I'm saying the immaturity, but I need a little more. Like what's what's what, you know how to more for me? Mm-hmm. I mean what, you got a question or something? <laughs> and this is like us every day, for real. Like for real. This this is the how the conversations go. Baby, I, I just but I'll ask her though, cause she be on the phone. We be on the phone a lot, mm-hmm. and she working, I'm working, mm-hmm. and she be telling her, "Oh, who's that? <laughs> oh, for real? Do I know him? <laughs> but see me. Oh, what department is that? I know. But see for me, I already know how he is. So I'm like, oh, baby, that was such and such and such and such, and he already knows like pretty much everybody that I speak to, whether it he's actually physically met them or in the description of. Oh, remember that's that person I told you. Da 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 da. Because I know he has his cute jealousy moments, you know. So, I mean, he's never been overbearing, you know, to that degree at all. Um, I don't even think I could take that. So, <laughs> But, you know, he has his, his cutesy, jealous moments. But I try to even, you know, make sure that I communicate about what's going on so he doesn't even have to feel that way. It's because I just try to flatter her. That's all. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. You, you have to try to flatter me. Try to be cute. Cutesy. 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 Is that a word? <laughs> yeah. Cutesy. Yeah. Cutesy. Cutesy. Cutesy Jones. Cutesy Jones. <laughs> you are wild. Yeah, so, um, you know, just if, if it goes deeper than the Cutesy Jones jealousy, then I would just say have a conversation. But, I mean, I think the minimum is okay, you know. Okay. So that wraps it up? Yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say. I see. You must be tired tonight. You tired? I'm tired. It's Friday. We've been working all week. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to wrap it up since QC Jones don't have nothing else to say tonight. Mm-hmm. That's all right. We're going to be coming 
live and direct tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, as always, believe in love, believe in yourself, and believe in each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.